Prayer produces supernatural miracles. The whole passage that we've been dwelling on today is filled with supernatural miracles. The opening of the servant's eyes that were already able to see, but then was able to see the spiritual realm. And then through prayer, simple prayers. It was not a long-winded, huge prayer that Elisha makes. It's just short. Lord, open his eyes. Lord, close their eyes. Lord, open their eyes. As simple as that. And yet, every single time he prayed, miracles happened. The opening, closing, and opening of eyes was not through Elisha's power. It was a divine miracle that was happening every time Elisha prayed. It was humanly impossible to open someone's spiritual eyes or close someone's natural eyes and open them again. It's not possible. No doctor on earth can do that. Make someone blind and make them see again. Or make someone's eyes see something in the spiritual realm. What Elisha was doing was he was operating in the supernatural. When he prayed, God answered, and the supernatural began to happen. That's prayer. When we pray, supernatural things begin to happen as a result of our prayer. The reason supernatural things happen through Elisha's prayer was for one reason. His relationship with God. His intimacy with God put him in that position to be able to say simple prayers and for God to honor them. That's how prayer works. The more intimate we become, the greater the authority our prayer carries. But the more distant we are, the more our prayers feel like it doesn't produce much. That's why James says, the prayer of a righteous man it availeth much. What does righteous mean? Meaning right standing with God. Having a relationship with God. I'm telling you, many of us, we struggle with prayer because we've not done the one thing that God wants us to do, is to know Him and walk with Him. It says, if you know me and walk with me, <laughs> then you can ask and receive. Seek and find, knock, and it will be open for you. That's a promise given to every child of God. The Bible says where two or three people, when they agree together on anything, in my name, it shall be done, He says. You and I have been given a name that is all-powerful, a name that is above every other name, that when we come to our Heavenly Father through the name of Jesus Christ, we can ask for things and receive it because of Jesus Christ, our Savior. That's what the Bible says. We can draw boldly into the throne of grace and call Him our Father, not because of who we are, but because of what Christ Jesus did for us.